Hi everyone, I'm Paul and welcome to my review of ICT's 2022 YouTube Mentorship Program for Lesson 13. Today's video is going to be pretty short because we're just reviewing one of ICT's paper trades on TradingView. So please like, subscribe and let's jump into today's video. Today's video is Lesson 14 of ICT's 2022 YouTube Mentorship Program. And the outline for today's video is just reviewing ICT's trading concepts and using the NASDAQ as an example from the 28th of February. So if we start with our daily chart on the NASDAQ, we have a very similar scenario to the one that we are looking at in lesson 13. So we're in an overall downtrend and whilst we have a bearish bias, we don't really want to be going short here because we have the expectation that price is going to draw up into this order block here and into this bearish fair value gap here. So you can see the market's already started to trade up into that zone and we expect price to trade up into this order block, but we don't expect it to, uh, to breach that order block. So whilst our overall bias is bearish, in the short term, our bias is bullish. And so if we zoom into our one hour chart now, you can see that we've got this gap from the Friday close. So from our daily time frame, we have the order block and the fair value gap acting as a draw on liquidity. So now since the market has reopened after gapping down after the Friday's close, we're also expecting price to fill this gap. So not only do we have a bullish bias, we also have the draw on liquidity being the daily order block and the daily bearish fair value gap. We've also got this gap that we're anticipating that we're going to fill from Friday's close. So we're looking now at the one minute chart. Now this is screen grabs from ICT's video because my data on my trading view doesn't go back quite far enough. Now keep in mind going into this session, we have a bullish buy, so we're only looking for long setups. And very specifically, we're looking at the morning session. So a core part of ICT's teaching in the YouTube mentorship program is the time of the day. So we're looking at the morning session in New York. So just after 10 o'clock here, you can see we've got a bullish fair value gap, which is starting to form. So that's our three candle formation. So one, two, three, and our bullish fair value gap is formed between the high of that first candle and then the low of that third candle. So you can see that that's this area which has been colored in in blue here. Now, ICT's got his limit on the actual low of that third candle and he's trying to buy 12 contracts there. And you can see he's actually put his stop in the middle of this, what I'd assume would be an order block just here. So that would probably be on the expectation that price is not gonna go through that order block because traditionally on this three candle fair value gap formation, you'd put your stop at the bottom of that first candle. So my guess would be ICT's put his stop here is because this is an order block and he's not expecting price to trade through that level. So you can see as we move forward, the market trades back into that fair value gap and this is where the first execution happens. So after the market trades back into this zone and back out, you can see that ICT is already up $240 on this trade and he makes this particularly funny comment in the video that the execution is probably random. So as the trade starts to build, you can see we're starting to approach this buy side liquidity up here. And ICT's got a target, a take profit target up here at 14,220 with the strategy to take six contracts off here at 14,185 and then roll his stops to even. And you can see already at this point, he's sitting on over $1,500 profit on this particular trade. So in the example, ICT refers back to the S&P as you know, he often looks at correlated assets, the S&P and the NASDAQ. And what he states is that because the S&P's overrun the buy side liquidity a little bit ahead of the NASDAQ, he decides to change his mind and rather than try and aim for closing out the contracts at a high price and just closing six here at this 14,185 mark, he decides to basically close everything out at that level and take all his profits there. One of the other things that's worth noting in this particular trade example, is you can see in this uptrend, and ICT talks about this often, is these down close candles act like support in an uptrend, so like little speed bumps. And you can see that that happens here in this particular uptrend leading up to his exit from his entry. So the market trades up, 
and these down close candles act as support and as the market trades up again the down close candles don't breach the previous down close candles so that's your little speed bump and then as the market trades up again this down close candle again it doesn't breach the previous down close candles and the market continues to trade higher and you can see as a result of that trade he pushes his total equity on this paper trading account to almost fifteen thousand dollars and almost two and a half thousand dollars just on this trade alone. Today's video was a pretty short one, but it's always great to see ICT's concepts in action and squeeze in a little bit of revision. If you enjoyed this video, please like it because that helps other people to find it. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.